Hey everyone, welcome back to I Totally Love It. This is Susan, and in this video, I have a thrift haul from Hobby Lobby and Joanne. I'm going to start with the one from Joanne, and uh, this was Black Friday. I had a gift card, um, and Tim Holtz stuff was on sale. Um, so let's just start with the things here I have in front of me. Um, I got this little tin because I have the one for the mini ink pads and then the, the regular size ink pads, but I didn't have anything for the, the bottles. So it holds 12 and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Room for three more. Oh no, I think I bought, I bought two more. So room for one more. <laughs> All right. So finally a place to store those bottles. Got a little, a little, Kind of banged up and shipping, but I'm sure I'll probably put some dents in it myself. Um, they have these little um, field note snippets. These are teeny tiny. Um, so these would be good for little clusters or little the little tiny tags like these, which are uh, a little more than an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter. What are they? Oh, oh inch and three quarter an inch and three in three thirty twos all right hang on one second my computer uh, wanting to do some sort of update while i'm recording okay um and then i picked up these uh these are layers plus paper dolls this is christmas 2023 so it has all those things. I'm not going to take them out uh, right now, but a lot of the paper dolls in there may be kind of similar to some that we've already gotten in the other sets. Um, but I think I s maybe see some new ones. I'm not sure. Uh, but that's all right to have repeats because there's some that I've used that I really liked. Plus, then you have all the seasonal stuff, poinsettias and little other pieces of ephemera. Okay, now then. I've been looking for those and for these. Uh, and of course the packaging, they were all out of the package when I received it, you guys. It was, it took a while to get some of these. Uh, but these are the photomatic ones. I wanted these and I wanted, these are the photo booth ones uh, because I wanted to do those IDs that everybody's doing. So, now I can't. Now I have more photographs to do that. All right. Um, also, paper-wise, uh, from Tim Holtz, I got this uh, set of backdrops. And I guess that's all of them right there. This is volume four, for those keeping track of which volume this might be. Uh, I think that's my first Tim Holtz paper. Uh, this is not Tim Holtz. This is Park Lane. This is just, um, these are like little pieces of script and different uh, fonts. That doesn't have an example, but I thought these would be great for when you're making master boards or you're making, um, um, you know, just using like the tear offs, the edges of your paper just to make some stuff. Oh, I'm noticing something that's spilled in there. Great. Okay. We'll figure it out in a minute. All right. This bag has, this is why they wrap it in plastic, um, Distress Oxide Shaded Lilac and Distress Oxide Spray Vintage Photo. Um, I've been doing the thing where you, where you rub your pad uh, and then just spray it, but I thought, well, I'll just buy the spray. Okay, let's figure out what's going on in here, because I see some orangey stuff. Let me get scissors. I don't want to get it all over me. Scissors need to be sharpened. Okay, let's see what the culprit might be. Not this one. This is carved pumpkin. 
This one's Victorian velvet. That's ink, not oxide. Crushed olive. That's also an ink. Okay, I think I touched it on there. This is Shabby Shutters. That's oxide spray. Let me get in. Baby wipe. Something orange and rusty. I don't know what this one is. It's upside down. Okay. This one is gathered twigs. That's an oxide. Tattered rose. Is it that one? Or is it just? Oh, yeah. Maybe. Is it so, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's all over me. Ah, I'm bleeding. No, I'm not. All right, I'm going to pause and kind of clean this up. Be right back. All right, guys. So, yeah, it was um, this one. I took the plastic off of it. It was It's a really juicy ink pad. In fact, this, I'm sure, is not what the color was supposed to be. And it's so wet right now that I was trying to clean it with a wipe and I was tearing the label. So that needs to air out. Um so I'm going to set that to the side and this stuff over here to the side. Okay, and then I'm not sure why I did this. I really thought I fixed this, but I guess I did. <laughs> I got holiday pine in 12 by 12 and 6 by 8. So, um, I think I'm set on this paper. So, I mean, that's really what it looks like, you guys. But I know you don't want to. I wiped my desk down, so it's a little wet. Let's see if we can. It's kind of some sagey green. Good in the picture, Susan. Let's see if we can. There we go. Okay, why don't you come up too and then make my day happier? There we go. So you can leave that hole or you can separate those. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, so I picked this one because it didn't have red in it, which is so not me because I am so drawn to red. But I do like some neutrals here. And I have some prompts coming up here on my... By the time you see this, you might have already seen that video, but my um, December daily... One of them says neutrals from Raindrop Lila. If you're not following her, do so. Okay, that's all from Joanne. It's Joanne without an S, but I guess if I went to Joanne's house <laughs> or Joanne's store. Okay, hang on. Let me... Then I had to run in. <laughs> oh, sorry for the plastic. Then I had to run into Hobby Lobby for a gift. And because the lines were really long, I didn't want to stand in it just yet. I thought, well, let's go check out clearance. And this is the one in my town where I live. And they didn't have any paper back there as far as the 12 by 12, but it has plenty of the 8.5 by 11. And I have not opened these. I have been waiting. Um, I bought this, the... Let's see. Here's the receipt. I bought this. It was right after Thanksgiving break. Um, 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 um. Oh, the 27th. So the Tuesday. No, the Monday. The Monday after Thanksgiving break. All right. You'll be proud of me. I, I had a $5 reward at Michael's and I didn't go and use it. Nothing had expired already. Okay. Um, so I know I keep saying this. I don't need more paper, but I can't turn down $3.99 for 50 sheets. 
Okay. Here we go. Now, if you're not into paper, um, I like scrapbook paper. Um, is you know, got all the designs, so it helps out with what you're doing and your theme and whatnot. Okay, I think most of this is one sided. I like this blue snowflakey paper because you can use that in winter. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, nice. Two pieces of vellum. Is that vellum? Mm. Oh. Yep, watercolor fade. So they have this sort of a ombre look, I guess, but it's faded. Where's it this way? Faded pink, pinkish red. Oh, look at that plaid. Two of those. So, so far, two of each of those things. Well, that's a pretty yellow. Two. It's a Christmassy gingham. I'm sure my table is dry. Uh, well, let's move this. Just dry sink. Check your fingers. Okay. Two of those. All right, then this is purple cardstock. Two of those. Oh, yeah. There's two. This is vellum. This will be great for Valentine's Day around the corner. Now, this is pretty. This is very shimmery. So, this is coral metallic. And this one is nude metallic. Two of those. Two of each of those. Cardstock. Oh, well, kind of a grass green. Maybe lime green. I have that paper <laughs> from the other Hobby Lobby. That's all right. I like gnomes. Maybe I'll do a gnome journal next year. And you could still use this in winter because, you know, this is Christmas gnomes, but, you know, that's pretty. I haven't seen that one. Dried floral. Black dainty floral vellum. Two of those. What is that? Campus grass. Okay. Uh, let's see. Looks like campus grass. Not in frame. Sorry. Sunflowers. That'll be good for like August, September. I'm not sure which way am I supposed to be turning this. Go this way. All right. This sort of rainbow prism color. Oh, only one of these. This one's gold floral outline vellum. One of these gold polka dot vellum, and then two of these, which are like the night. Oh, heavenly sky. Right, two of these like coral cardstock pieces. Some more vellum. This one's nice because usually they package the vellum differently or separately and differently. This one's alcohol ink vellum. I can see that. That's pretty cool. This is a light peach cardstock. Two of those. So two more dried floral. Watercolor bright. Oh, so this is considered watercolor. I think I had that in the other stores. Graphite metallic, that's nice. Dark blue watercolor. All right, that was a cool pack. Here, I'm gonna go with this one next because it's already, you know, you're not supposed to open it, but this one, I don't know. Did someone take a peek before me, more than me, or did it not seal well? All right, I'm trying to hustle through this. All right, that's some dark forest, uh, like dark Christmas green art stock. Patriotic. Some pumpkins. There's some pink plaid. Some bear baby feet, some girly feet. Pink baby feet. Um, my youngest is 16, uh -huh, so. I might have a, leave it up for grabs. All right, some more of that blue watercolor, some pink polka dots. 
Ah, there's my brick that I needed the other day for, I say the other day, probably a few weeks now. Very Christmassy there. Oh, springy flamingos. Oh, nice. This reminds me of school. Like all the things when school starts. Some blue plaid. Patriotic. Oh, that's pretty. Some leopard. I'm not a big fan of leopard print. Only one of those? There's your two. There's two. Some blue baby feet. Don't have any boys. Bubbles. Some springy florals or summery. Oh, there's some pretty roses. Oh, wait, only one of these. Bummer. Cactus. Pumpkins. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Flip it over. I liked this one, so this is why I grabbed this pack. Pumpkins. Unicorns. Daughter loves unicorns. All right. I do like that they are putting like I say that I did not watch this pack be different, but it's like two of each, one or two, and not ten of each. Like when you get the big, and it may be my my store in the town where I work does a value. You get the twelve by twelve, you get ten of the same. All right, this was one, two, I probably just cheated myself. Okay, three of those. Some more of these, but they're not all in a pack. Oh, some more of these. Oh, jinx myself. Now you're going to end up with ten. I did. I totally jinxed myself. So I may have to give some of those away because there's no way I need that many. Another one of these. There's some more of these. Another one of these, some more of these. This was a Jinx pack when I said that. Oh, man. Next Christmas, I'm going to give away some paper. <laughs> it's all the same. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Oh, there's more baby stuff. Oh, pink. I mean, I like pink to a certain extent, but I don't want that much. Oh. More hearts, and yeah. I had gotten that one. I'm not a fan of that either. That's no, cheetah print. It's hearts though. And okay, so I'm set with the truck carrying the tree. All right. Ooh, this is like a navy metallic. Flip this one. Let's flip it over. That's cool. It's like a cream, cream country crackle. Okay. Was, oh, here we go. Dear Sam. You know what? I have some co-workers with some little kids. Maybe they, but let's just let me put those to the side. My kids are like, just give me some candy and some gift cards. Let's see, sunflowers, cardstock. This is crap. Yeah, so two of those, some vellum. Hey, that's kind of cool, like a little marble. Yeah, it says marble. I was right. This is like a what? Oh, camera, it looks a lot lighter. I think it is darker, like a teal. A little heart vellum. Ooh, that's vibrant. Very springy. Cinco de Mayo color. All right, this is a silver dust metallic. Rose gold metallic, orange cardstock, plaid. Oh, that's pretty. That's very fall. Some more hearts, flowers. Oh, I have a 
plenty of this. I like this one, but I think I bought a whole pack. Well, a pack that had that on the other end. So I know there's more to come. Lots of different kinds of trees. And then there's the flat. Ah, see, there's that cooper. All right. So if you were, oh, if you were to receive scraps, like, I've ordered scraps before, but they're, let's say it's a 12 by 12 piece of paper. They cut down, they cut it into uh, maybe four, uh, four by four, well, four by fours. Yeah, four by fours. Well, they're usually more like four by sixes. Um, you know, instead of sending a whole paper, because that's hard to ship, especially at 12 by 12. Um, do you like receiving these? You know, like a half a piece or a quarter of a piece of paper. I mean, I guess it would be sold as scraps. Buttercream, that's pretty. Some more of those. Gold ores. Well, it's very yellow on my computer, but it's almost like a maze. More maze. More pamphlet grass. Anyway, so would you... Or if you received Happy Mail, is, you know, a little quarter of a page plenty? Because I don't know about you, I, I tend to tear mine. This is orange and black. Also, some Halloweenish colors. What is this called? Rain Duh. Rainbow. Rainbow. I thought we had some cute name. Graphite metallic. Pewter metallic. Random gold dots. My husband's cracking his knuckles. I don't know if you heard that. He has his headphones on. Heavenly Skies. This is Mountain Rose Metallic. Some more of that. Some more of that. Some more of that. Ooh, deep purple. It's pretty with that green. So let me know in the comments below. This is orange and black. Like if I made a Valentine uh, pack, you know, would the recipient like a quarter of a piece of paper? If you were that recipient, it's one piece of like just regular old light blue cardstock. This is the coral. It looks very corally. It looks neutral. This is a like a deep red. Oh, that's a gold, golden yellow. You all remember the big box of crayons? Not the '96, the bigger one. The is it was it 128? Um, anybody remember that big old box? Um. Pretty sure because you had the big 96 one, but I think you had the, the bigger one is 128. Anyways, I remember the, all those colors back then. All right, so I'm gonna maybe start sending some happy mail, get some made up for during the Christmas break, taking a little trip at the beginning of break. This is kind of a like a dusty cranberry. That's all like a great name. Some of these I got last time. But uh, maybe making some happy mail packets. Oh, here's some more of these. Make sure I don't skip one. Oh, I know someone that has four kiddos. Let's see if they want that. If not, we'll move pass it on to the next friend. That's pretty much that's like a wallpaper back in the day. Anyways, I've got to get rid of some of this paper. And I like sharing. Sharing is caring. I'm also in that group. I know I talk about it all the time. If you watch my Which One Wednesday and Junk Journal Sketches series. Um... 
the um, junk journal crafts and more. They, oh, that one's got a faded edge, but that's all right because you can use the other side. It's a little faded on the end, like that was the piece on top. Finish it, Susan. Say what you're saying. Um, like on the weekends, like Thursday on, it's there's like different days. There's Random Act of Kindness Day, um, where you post the things you would like, like a wish list, and then people will s send you stuff off your wish list. And then there's this is gold leaf metallic. And then there's Sundays. There's a little crimp here. Sundays they have um where like if you're the sender like i have this paper like i can say i have um, three envelopes of random you know four by six scrap paper scrap paper and then people claim it so those are just um once again random acts of kindness basically because someone says they they would love it they need it and you have it and you're going to mail it to them so it's just sharing is caring and then i just i would have to pay the postage so if you were one of those people i would pay the postage on it but i just have to have the time to go do that because uh, i don't have the time every day to run the post office it closes before i get there all right guys um that being said that is the end of my haul i know that's all ton of paper there but a lot of repeats so i foresee some giveaways and maybe sell a few things so you know we got bills all right guys um i appreciate you and your time um if you haven't hit the like button already please do so if you're still here thanks for hanging around you're the best um hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed yet hit that notification bell so you'll know when i put a new video out um, it's not every day but it's most days and um anyways i have been holding on to some of the stuff the joanne stuff came in four different pieces of mail um so this will probably be it for a while maybe after christmas i'll have gotten a few things and i'll share then but um this is it for now, I think. So just join me in my other videos. I have those two series, two series, junk journal sketches, and which one to win stay. All right, guys. Um, like I said, I appreciate you and your time. And until the next one, bye-bye.